Hola, bienvenidos a IMHO. En mi opinión homosexual, yo soy Pia Chan. Me llamo Darby. Y yo soy Alexis P. Bevels. The P today stands for Paco la Parana. Oh. No, no, no. Paco la Paraña, our guest judge yes. from today's episode. Oh, yes, of course, of course. Yes. Uh, like, we did research. Actually, I'm excited because I did do some research. Yeah. We research. Did what? I did some research. Research. Oh. I did some research. It's important to get yourself back in the church when you take yourself out. Yeah. But before we get into church, how is everyone? Everyone's good. How's your church? I mean, my church is good. It's warm. It's got a lot of sun in it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Um, oh, yeah, because they have those bay windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Gorgeous. got those in. Yeah, I've been soaking it up. My How's favorite, your church? My favorite Gia Gun quote is, soak up what? <laughs> in reference to when she said that to Monet Exchange. Oh, the sponge. When Monet was doing a sponge dress. and she was singing her original song, Soak It Up, and Gia Gun's like, Soak Up what? She had the best one liner. <laughs> she, she really did. She really yeah. did. You know what I'm soaking up? What? La Veneno. La Veneno. Oh, oh what a beautiful episode. Veneno. What a beautiful episode. Okay, I have mean, you, you've, you watched the pilot of La okay, Veneno. Okay, yes. You, I just feel, you started, yeah. I, well, I did feel bad because everyone's been talking about it and I went, well, like that, because, you know, I'm still trying to watch Seinfeld. I'm still getting into that. Well, to be honest, we do keep you chained to a desk editing all of our yeah. episodes, mm -hmm. so we don't let you out enough to, like, see TV. No, and the only yeah. TV I get to watch is Murder, She Wrote, and that's because... I want to solve a mystery at some point. But, like, I want to be an old lady first. Mm. So in a couple years. I watched the episode and everything was so... Everyone was having such a wonderful time. And every new person that came out, they were, like, clapping and cheering. And everyone was loving the references. I felt loved out. So I love and I know the first episode loved it. It's such a beautiful yeah. series. Yeah, gorge. Based off a true story. Baca La Piranha, she was actually La Veneno's best friend, like... And she was, and she, she, yeah. and she got to play it. Well, because the, they, her part in the, on the runway, right they asked, mm -hmm. yeah, they asked like, who, who reminds you the most of your best friend? <gasps> mm -hmm. I loved it when they did that. Yeah. And if you haven't, if you're watching a uh, drag race is and you haven't seen a Veneno, I'll give you my HBO max password. It, it's Darby's and mm -hmm. I know it and I'm not supposed to have it, but I do have it. And I'll That's let you. okay. I only it's paid just... it through the end of this month. Good luck next month. <laughs> Should we just get into it, ladies? Because I know yeah, that we have a, a lot of things really to say. Yeah, it's a really good episode. It's an incredible episode. Drag Race España. Thank you. Thank you for making me interested in Drag Race. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. You brought it back to life, and mm -hmm. we thank you so much. But we love everybody else, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watch All Stars. I heard Miss Piggy's going to make an appearance. <gasps> I hope so. I love she's the, you know, she she's the only judge. Muppet I trust. Mm -hmm. Kermit. Mm -mm. How come we can see no one else's legs, but we can see no, yours? No, if, if we are going to allow Miss Pika, we got to allow her. her no, sub, fuck her Kermit. Sub, her sub. <laughs> her sub, Kermit. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's locked true. up in a box, and all he has to do is just beg for the key, and then she'll let it out. Uh, but it'll make his it hole. <laughs> That's a real thing. Google it, unless you're under 18. Then that read, read a book. is allowed at Pride. We do want kink at Pride. We want kink at Pride. We want... Okay, can we... I'm sorry. What is that about? Oh, the discourse. What's the conversation that's, about? I well, think that... I'm not I think that the young kids are seeing pictures of Folsom Street Market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And thinking that's what gay pride parades are. Mm -hmm. And that's not the case. I think Gen Z is very Protestant and polices activity and behavior <laughs> in spaces that they aren't welcomed in to begin with. Because, because they can't get in. And it's like... Well, that's why there's age restrictions on these these forums oh yeah I that's... yeah I you know I'm an I'm an old person so I I know that whatever I say is gonna sound angry and old but <laughs> if you want to go to a family friendly event there are plenty of other family friendly events that are LGBTQ friendly you Tucky can fly cheese. your rainbow flag like while you're there I mean do I want to see people getting their dick sucked at the parade no but does that happen I'm sorry no I'll say it this way does it happen more often than it does on any Friday night okay. in North Halstead okay well. no you know, I get, I get it. People are just trying to protect other people, and I think us being locked up in our houses for this long, I think everyone has really used their voices mm -hmm. as of late on the internet, because that's all 
we could That's all do. you can do is scream? Yeah, scream inside and scream in the void. But now that we're going back out in the real world, I think some of us need to put our blinders back on. Or, or, yeah. or do our own safeguards. What does Big Dipper say? Big Dipper said this on Sloppy Seconds this week. He said, I can't, I can't protect you from your own triggers. So if, if you find yourself being triggered by certain things that exist in the world, you're gonna have to avoid those places. It, oh, I know what it is. Oh. It's like spoilers on the internet. At this point, if you do not want something spoiled for you, the onus is on you to not go on the internet. Yeah, ownership. You, Take you, some ownership. It's been so long. Um. We've all had the internet for so long. It's your fault if you get something spoiled for you. But you're right. not to victim you're blame. You're right. Not to even blame. Victim blame. blame. Well, she's blaming all of the victims of kink. <laughs> I will say, I haven't really seen any discord about no kink at pride. I've, I mean, I've seen people saying like, shut up, kink at pride is the thing, shut up. Mm -hmm. I haven't actually seen anyone tweet out like... Well, that's why I think it's like one person said something that they might have even been stupid and then it snowballed. Because you know when snowballs happen, mm -hmm. they start mm -hmm. very tiny. It's like a tumbleweed. And then they go and they gather, they gather more, more snow, snow or weed. For tumbles. Did you say tumbleweed because you're both from Texas and that yeah. used to cross your lawn? Yeah. And, and so as it grows, it gets bigger and bigger. And then once you get through the snow, you find there's nothing there. Everyone has an opinion these days. It started with the bandana over the crotch. To the, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, I do. All the different colors. All the oh, different oh, you're the talking about the picture of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. The CNN says something. Let's oh, see what okay. CNN has to say. No kink Biden's at Pride this year. Okay, well, meat supplier JBS USA paid eleven million in ransom in response to a cyber attack last week. <gasps> oh man, JBS. we should. I know we should have talked about that. So JB started her own company. The problem cyber is tech. she's not great at passwords because she doesn't know words. And she doesn't. Uh, so it was just the space bar. So I guess we didn't do our due diligence. We could have. We could have been better about that. Yeah. Put her in a keyboarding class. Yeah. We were talking about no kink at Pride. We're gonna move on now to no Macarena and. Drag Race is fun. Aww. She has just left. And we love her. Did you see she commented on our video? What did she say? She, she say? said, oh, y'all are so sweet. Thank you so much. And Aww. I said, we okay. love you. Yeah. Uh, we're so excited to see uh, what she does next. What other dances she I attend. thought she was so funny, especially her exit in particular. I thought she was hilarious, mm -hmm. and I thought she looked great. She was so bright, good energy, yeah. the vibes. Did, did you notice when they were erasing her comment on the mirror, they were like, I'm surprised she went. Like, everyone was shocked that she was in the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how, like, out of left field it seemed. Yeah. And Poopy was just sitting there going, not me. Poopy is shady. Poopy yeah. is Poopy. shady. Dovima is... Really sad that Macarena is gone, and she starts to cry. And then we get the the beginnings of Poopy Shade. Poopy's not buying it. No, she's saying we get the beginning of the Poopy Shade. <laughs> you know when you see a little bit of a shade little bit of the yeah, poopy yeah, yeah. come out. Oh my god, that Poopy's coming. Uh oh, here comes the big Poopy. <laughs> yes, it is the next day, and poopy. we get a click. The Ugly Busters. Yeah. Wow. It's Sagittaria, Dovima, and Carmen. They are here to squash out the witches of Zagaramur. Please forgive my pronunciation. We Z do. Zagaramurdi. And I looked that up because I wanted to know. I love witches. Yeah, you know. of course you do. Apparently, in 19, uh, 1610, it was the largest witch trial in history. 53 people oh. were incarcerated and killed because they said they were witches. They said they were witches or they were convicted of being witches? Well, they I mean, admit to it? The people... Convicted oh, them oh, being oh, witches, oh, and then they it. murdered them. Oh. oh, yeah. So now it's like it's this um, little village in the the foothills of the Pyrenees Mountains, Just and they're like caves and and elms, and now it's like kind of like a Salem. Like they go there and do mm. witch like um, like conventions and stuff. So they bring they bring the dead witches back. So the witch trial been there, and then we had the 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 Red Scare. Okay, we're going through history now, and then now. Oh. No kink of pride. Now we got no, no kink, kink of pride. pride. <laughs> oh, okay. No kink of pride. Well, actually, they would like that. That is a kink. So if you oh. like kink, just wave and smile. My kink is being accused? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, by the way, that was from the PyreneesExperience.com. I got that information. Thank you. I swear um, not sent cider sources enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now we've got You've Got Mail. And Thank then you. we get the pit crew. <gasps> a lot of a them. Lot of Good afternoon, crew. gentlemen. Ooh. I am looking respectfully. 
I'm not. It's good to have manners. Mm. Now they had to do a word scramble, which is fun. They pulled the they pulled the flags the out of keys. their yeah, which is very kink of pride. You know, you pull that. <laughs> it hey, goes guys. back. To... I start out with white. I don't know what that is. I think that's just like I give up. I don't, don't want to find. Why does snowball? Oh, snowball. They come in a piece of snow and then it rolls down a hill and gets bigger and bigger. And then when you go in there, you say you go in where the, the snowball. snowball. And then and then is that something that happens often? Every pride. You've never been to one? <laughs> Not to a snowball pride. <laughs> That's what white bandanas represent. You were asking what white bandanas oh, represent. Oh, thank you. Where do the snowballs go? Down the he, parade route. Well, and the other color was red, which we do know is, in fact, fisting. That, and is, that is something I, I will see a pride. Okay? Mm -hmm. I refuse to have that taken the out of me. The puppet play. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jim Hickson. I'm listening. Anagrams, right? That's what those are called. Yes. Yeah. Did you know that's a section of an IQ test is an anagram? You got to rejumble those words. Are oh yeah. Just, like, are they real? Do people still? Do people? Yeah, yeah, but they just let in the youngest member ever of Mensa. It's like a little girl who was like, like three. Two, two or three, right? What's Mensa? Certain people, you have to be at a certain IQ in order to even hear about Mensa okay. and not just be here, so she doesn't know what it is. I am I, so sorry to the girl to my left. What are we supposed to say to them if they find out about Mensa? Um, we're supposed oh, to completely ignore her. Uh, it's your fault. I think that's what we're supposed to say. Oh, no, wait, that's if their parents get divorced. Oh, no, they did say gaslight her. Oh, mm hmm. Gaslight her. Did y'all know what any of these words meant? No, of course no. not. No. The pit crew member that we've known from the beginning. Did you notice that both of his letters were C and, both and they were both were upside backwards. down? <laughs> they were oh. upside down. And I then, did notice that. And so they had it, and then they cut to him, and he had already turned it around, like no one said anything. Yeah, that was, was cute. In his head. Bless I'm let him. Be. That was cute. I'm yeah. let him be. I don't want to. You know what I say out. to him? C. Yeah. Poopy plays on wins the mini challenge, and Supreme announces that it is the. Girl group challenge, mm -hmm. they're singing to a song, Divas, they get to write their own lyrics. And because Poopy won the mini challenge, she is a team leader. And because Hugafio, another word I mispronounced last week, sorry about it, Hugafio. We're learning and growing. Yeah, and yeah, thank as, you for your patience. As you say it in Spanish, it is... Hugafio. No, learning and growing. What's that phrase in Spanish? Learning and growing. Oh. Donde si está puede. la biblioteca? I had someone in a dressing room earlier this week say, yeah, I my Spanish side is on my father's side. And I was like, oh, okay, uh, let's hear some Spanish. He's like, well, escúchame. And then he like just goes past me and I was like, what does escúchame mean? It's like, it means excuse, excuse me. me. I was like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> escúchame is listen to me. I was like, like, you just bumped into me and said, listen to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> but okay, I respect that person. Someone <laughs> runs into you and says, listen to me. <laughs> listen. That's terrifying. That's I get funny. out of their That's way. Funny. So they break up into teams, and actually, they do pick, pick this one, I pick this mm -hmm, one. And then mm -hmm. they know, um, Drag Volcano is last. Mm -hmm. And this was interesting to me. Supreme says, Poopy, oh, yeah. why didn't you pick Volcano? Ooh. And they had to give their reasons, which is basically like she's too tall, which is... That's weird, right? You're big. Yeah, that's... I did think of... it was funny that she said that with N.T. right behind her. And N.T. is, like, super duper tall. Yeah. And I was like, that's a bad excuse, mm -hmm. little little one. That's what I call Poopy. <laughs> oh, she my little, poopy. little girl. And then Volcano got to pick her own team. So she ended up going with Poopy Poison. And everyone team. was so shocked to hear her speak. I know, yeah. It's so they, they were kind of alluding to the fact that she's been very quiet all along, which I get. We're only episode two. Yeah. There's a lot of big personalities. I feel like she and Killer both, like, I feel like we haven't really gotten, they haven't stood out a mm -hmm. lot, which is not great on a drag show. You definitely want to be standing out. Yeah. But once they said that, I was like, oh, yeah, I have no idea who the fuck that is. Yeah, she doesn't really have Maybe she's stressed. Maybe she mm -hmm. she did say when the other girl shut up, I will speak out. And I'm like, okay, well, I, I don't know what's going on in that <laughs> little head of yours. But like, speak out, Louise. But like, we need to hear speak you. Speak out, Louise. Escúchame. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> so, Poopy, Inti, Arancha, and Drag Volcano, they decide on the name Five and a Quarter. Which really, they were four and a quarter. Did you notice that? There were five of them. Because mm -hmm. the quarter obviously was poopy, because she's, like I said, she's my little poopy. <laughs> my little quarter poopy. So five and a quarter made no sense. Or oh, maybe they were saying because Volcano is so tall, she counts as one and a quarter. I don't think why, it made much sense. Why would they sense. do that? Yeah, it didn't make much sense. Okay, what is five and a quarter? In, what, what is that? Is that like 
Are they talking about penis? <laughs> but what know. is their money? What is their quarters, money over there? Just quarters. Oh, just quarters. <laughs> euros. Strictly quarters. They're they're on the euro. Oh, cents. euros. Okay, okay. Oh, that's right, because they win thirty thousand euros. Well, I so I went to Barcelona. I don't know if you know that. Have you been there? But I did go to Barcelona, and while I was there, I had to pay on euros, and like there are notes and there are coins. There's just different. Like it's. How do, I, how do I say this to y'all? It's a different system almost. Like it's just not all the coins are less than a dollar. You know what I mean? Like one euro or there's coin versions Whoa, of that. Oh, you and were exposed to a different culture? Yeah. Was that kind of fun? Can, can I be honest with you? Yeah. So scary at first because I was like, where's McDonald's? And then we have Hugafeo, Carmen, Sagittaria, and Killer Queen. They decide on the Metal Donnas. Was that like a- The Metal Donnas. Metal Was that like Madonna? I don't know. Are we missing something? I googled Metal Donna's and there is an American singer Her name's called Donna. Donna, Donna Miso. Ma Donna. Her yeah. arms are made of metal. I don't know what that Metal Donna is. I think maybe because it kind of sounded like Madonna. Me metal Donna. Metal Donna. Because maybe they were talking, were they talking about Madonna the singer? Or were they talking about Madonna? Because you know, they, because they have God and Jesus and Mary over there sometimes. Oh, could be difficult. I... Poopy's over there and she says, we're fine because I know Killer Queen can't sing a lick. She sucks. She's the worst person I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> oh. That's the kind of the vibe she yeah, was giving. Yeah, it was intense. It was kind of intense. And then when we get to the work through, actually, I thought Killer did great. You yeah. Killer killed? I thought she. Oh, it was okay. No, it was okay. good. Did it was good. Like, oh. Yeah. I'm going to sit on that. <laughs> Oh, wow. They're in the work through. Supreme is guiding them as their music, um, mu musica. Which I loved. Oh, uh, es escuche me. I loved, I love that Supreme was there. Like, I love that we got to see yeah. the host take on such an active role in this. I loved it. Mm -hmm. I also think that when Supreme's out of drag, I mean, Supreme in drag is gorgeous. Out of drag, she's so adorable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and, and again, seems to the really cutest. know their stuff. Yeah. Very patient parent, too. Like, yeah. yeah. We'll not say anything negative. We'll say, this is what you're trying to go for. Do this next time. I'll yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Oh, and she did that with Poopy. She was like, yeah, do it, but do it this time, but like more nasty, more nasty. Yeah. And then she did, and Supreme was laughing. Laugh, well, it, was, laughing. it was disgusting. It was, it was nasty as hell. It was Poopy. It was inappropriate. I yeah. can't believe they let that air. It was inappropriate. Okay. <laughs> Poopy was going in again on Killer Queen, and she sang... A lyric. She sang, like a cheese slice trapped in a sandwich. Amen. Amen. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, somebody tweeted at me today and they said, as a Christian woman, can you explain to me the cheese slice and Jesus? Like, why was she singing about Jesus and a cheese slice? Is that a Bible story? Well, you do. You did church. Wait, say it again. Well, obviously, this is the English translation that I read on the thing. Like a cheese slice trapped in a sandwich. Amen, amen. And that was Poopy doing the killer's voice. Well, cheese slices in sandwiches often do give people killer poopy. So perhaps that's what she meant by it. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm thinking cheese, it's so warm it's melted to the bread. It's trapped in the sandwich. But where's it's the hot. amen come in? Amen. What's the amen part? Like, are you praying over your cheese sandwich so you can eat it? Mm-hmm. Are you the sandwich? Let's break down that idiom. A cheese slice, cheese comes from milk, comes from cow. Cow, cows love playing with balls. They love to play with balls. Mm. Love to play with balls. Bread, the body of Christ. Balls, bread, balls and body. Now wait a minute, maybe, maybe it means nothing. Poisoned the cheese. And she's gonna make a poison sandwich and give it to Killer Queen. She's gonna kill her competitor. I bet Poopy didn't even think about this half as much as we're thinking about it right now. Well, that's what makes us high MHO. We'll see you at the next commercial break. Goodbye. I hope it's a commercial for cheese. Should we do the runway? Yeah. Oh, I forgot to snap a picture of Supreme, but we remember what she wore, right? Yeah, yeah. The she wore the, the white blazer with the blue latex. Blue. Oh, blue latex. I thought she looked good. It, I was kind of giving me Chan. It was giving me very Chan. She was cute. She was sexy. Yeah. Sexy. I like, I, and I like too that the hair. blazer just looked like it had hair on it. Like it looked like mm -hmm. the way it was backlit. I know it was like little threads and it's like all fancy, but it just looked like she'd been rolling around with the dog and I loved that. I love her demeanor. It's very milfy. It's like, yeah. 
you you will serve me at any point, and I'm going to talk to you like you owe me a favor. Yeah, yeah. and I would. I, and, uh, you, you let me know. I didn't love the blue latex boots with it. I, I didn't, didn't like the color of the boot. Yeah, it looked too disconnected from yeah. everything else. But the blazer, I'm sold. And Cute. the and the swept hair with like the little hair going down her cheek. Loved. Gorge. Love. Gorge. Gorge. And in our, uh, on the judges panel is joining us once again, Miss Anna Locking, who mm -hmm. I love. Oh God, our fashion great. expert. The Hobbies. So cute. Six Both C. hot. Yes. And Love. from Veneno, oh, the show and real life, it's Paca La Piranha. Oh my God. She was so fun, right? So fucking fun. And she knew her stuff. Well, she lived it. I love the bang with like the bump and like the mm -hmm. long, but like that is the unit I would wear. Oh yeah, yeah, and I love that right away she was like, these chairs are uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, she was like, my butt doesn't fit in this chair. And then I love that everyone just kind of scrambled. <clears throat> Supreme was like, oh yeah, they're really small. None of us fit in them. I know, it's a problem. Like she was like trying to like make it better. I was like, this bitch doesn't need that from you. Mm -hmm. She's having fun. So first up, we have five and a quarter. I liked, so they did mention like Spice Girls vibes, and I did like how they were all different, but I thought they all looked good. Mm -hmm. Who was your fave cost? Who had your favorite costume? Do I have to say, Arancha. And I know, I know, I know. I've gotten a lot of people saying online that like Arancha and, and Darby giving very similar vibes, so I know that's like not creative for me to say that mm -hmm. I liked it. I think this is the best Arancha has looked yeah. so far. The bang, I, I think, I'm sorry, go ahead. I agree with you. I, I It gives me very like Barbie vibes. And I love her action and the movement of her body on stage. It all just, the hair and, and the bodysuit really works. She was me. living her pop girl fantasy. Yeah, like, she girl was living from, her Hannah Montana from fantasy. From Disney yeah. Channel, yes. yes. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah they, great. someone online said Arancha La Mancha is supposed to be like a play on Hannah Montana. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's and that's why it and that's <coughs> helps me remember it's Arancha, not Arancha. So, Although Arancha she did Mancha. say, she was like, well, Hannah just call me Hannah Montana if that's easier enough. <laughs> no, Arancha. We got you. No, no, no. We respect y'all. All right. Who did you think looked? I really loved. Miss Dovima Normie with the yeah. black stars. Yeah, yeah. Dovima yeah. looks really cool. Yeah. Who's missing from that group? Is that Inti? Oh, Inti! Inti, Inti. Okay. yes. Okay. Inti looked, okay. Inti looked fucking good. So too. I loved, oh, <clears throat> Inti was my favorite. Inti was my top look. Yeah. Inti was my top look. N now, the hair, seeing her in this like bright neon, I was in. Yeah. I loved it. Now, later on the judges were like, you weren't giving a lot of energy. But I don't think that's who she is. Yeah, I mean, I could see, I when I saw it, I was like, okay, I get it. It's like, not low energy in like a low energy way, like but in like a, like in a, in a, like a Naomi slow. Smalls way, slow. like sensual, like I don't do the dynamic things. I am I fucking, am the dynamic I'm fashion, <gasps> I'm posing, okay. I'm legs. You better you know come to I mean? her defense. That's what I was Lawyer giving. Lawyer Bevels? When I, well, that's what I was giving when I saw it. And then when they get the lot. judging, I was like, oh, I guess I could see that. And I wasn't there. I was trying. So well, they you've wanted never me been to Spain. So you've they wanted me to Spain. To, well, exactly. They wanted me there, but so, it was when so you I went. So I had to, to I had to watch her dog. And oh, you heard that I went to Barcelona? Yeah. Well, I was supposed to. Darby. <gasps> Why would you throw her phone on the ground? Look at she's never been to Barcelona. Oh, it's got a strap. Yeah, it's got sorry, a strap. sorry, Gen Z. I got a strap on my phone. <laughs> Watch out! Oh my God, y'all, we have a lot of Gen you're Zers silly, watching. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Be careful. Be nice. Say. No, no. Are you just jealous because you don't look like you're Gen Z, but I do? Is this kinky? Are my clavicles? Kinky? That's too kinky. Cover it up. I've done it. Um, but overall, I thought this group was really great. This group was super, really super strong. Fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. I thought they all got their moments to shine. Poopy was giving kind of comedy. Yeah, I, I, I feel like her comedy perhaps was lost on us. To me, it just it was like it was it was a lot. It what was. Do you mean? It was. Um, it was a platter. 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 It was just a lot of like, and I'm gonna move my body. I'm gonna do this. And I'm sexy. Like it. <laughs> I needed a. Break. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I liked that a lot. Okay, fuck me. Never mind. <laughs> well, let's talk about our next group, Metal Donna. Metal Donna. Now, Metal Donna. First out, we had Carmen Farala. <gasps> Carmen okay, Farala. They did that right. Yeah, Carmen looked Having amazing. Having Carmen come out mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, she looks so good. The leg. Yeah, the Did you leg. see her skin? Did you see that? The hair, J Lo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very pop. We diva. got a lot of her butt this episode. Mm -hmm. and that's oh, a and great I'm not butt. complaining. Yeah. Congratulations, mm -hmm. ma'am. Incredible butt. Like you know super who I didn't show? recognize. 
Killer. I did not. Killer know came Killer out, and I was like, "Who the fuck? Why are they adding I, another I, queen?" I, yeah, I, I, so, mm -hmm. something about that didn't really work for me, and that's okay. Well, so I wasn't taking it in in that way. I was actually saying as a positive, like there was a very clear, like, "Oh shit, this girl is like switching it up," because even her runway I thought was very different from what we've seen from her. So I really. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed a lower key thing for her. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm... I don't know. I uh, something about the hair for me was just covering a lot. Like, and when she turned around in part of her verse when the camera was on her, I just saw a wall of hair. For me, that was a little bit like... It gave me I a lot of I Mimi I'm first for some reason, which made me laugh. So that maybe doesn't... that's why I liked it. You like subtlety and you like Mimi I'm first? I'm a complex person. <laughs> I see what you're saying about the hair and the black bodysuit with the belt and the chaps. It's a classic go-to drag look. It's not really stand out, very blend in. And a performance I, I, look. I don't but know. for performance look, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't hate it. I, I just thought it, it was not for me. You know what was for me was Hugafio, Crujiente. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. I loved the makeup. I loved the hair. I loved the arm. Loved it all. The coloring, it was so really cool. Cute. Her performance was really cute too. And Sagittaria looked incredible. Yeah. As for looks, this Sagittaria. entire team was good for me. Yeah. The performances. Yeah, you wanna talk about? It? Well, Sagittaria was looking as light as a feather when she did that helicopter. She wet. gave. Mm. It, she it did so all of it. And this, I okay, go ahead. No, no, I just wanted to oh, say I wanted to oh, I wanted a close up on her face because I wanted to look at it more. She was moving around so much in a good way. Her hair, her outfit, her face. I mean she's stunning. Not that big. That big. Yeah, okay. Okay. And I oh okay. okay. Did you notice though in the like in the group they did not land on her that often? Or if they were on her, they'd cut away real quick. That's why I was saying I wanted to was, see more of her. Well, I think they were purposefully not giving us more because she was in a, she was listening to a different song. Like she was on a different beat. And hey, I, I'm not one to talk, girl. Like, believe me, mm. I would be doing the exact same thing. Mm. But she moved like her joints were stiff. I'm saying that because I recognize that in myself. Oh. And that's on me, okay? I have the same joints and we both need to, Projection. to see a, a main Well, I wonder if maybe she's the only one that was on beat and the rest of them were because there was a couple of group shots where not everyone was doing the same thing. And I don't know if it was intentional or not. Like maybe it was like a party moment. Everyone do fill the time mm -hmm. mm. cohesively as a group. Not group great. one. Mm. Yeah. Group one for me. Mm -hmm. one. Yeah. It's group the one for me. It's, it's the, the group one five for and me. a half. And you could even and see mm -hmm. Hugapio, they were thinking the entire time. Like you could see it in their face where they were like, okay. Yeah, yeah they got a little bit in their head. Yeah. But they looked great. Okay, well, how do you follow Carmen Farala when you do something like that? Of course you'd be self-conscious. I mean, if, that's if true. If I saw that, I'd be self-conscious. I would just jump off the stage. I'm self-conscious like, now, and I watched it like three hours ago. Well, we because we texted you and we said, you're never going to be like her. So that's on us. We shouldn't have done Oh, that. yeah, but that, yeah, that was y'all? Yeah. Did you get new phones? So I didn't recognize the number. I did get a new phone. Those were the main challenges. Mm -hmm. Shall we get into the runway? Yes. yes. Okay, well the category for this week is Viva La Veneno. Yes. So we are celebrating the looks of La Veneno throughout her life. With her best friend and with, with the, the creators friend. of the show. Mm -hmm. That would be two other people. so, that would be so intimidating. Intimidating. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And she should do a fragrance and she could call it intimidating. Intimidating. I well, like but that. they don't do that. What's the Spanish <gasps> Intimidate. Word? Why would she do it in English? Up first we had Sagittaria. She's oh. wearing this oh. white ruffled coat oh. uh, with the Veneno hair. Veneno, the show, and, and the person made me really love bangs and long hair. Mm -hmm. Like I kind of want, you're kind of serving it right now. Bang. But I love the way she did it. So that's what we saw in Sagittaria. And then she revealed. Yeah, she did. Oh, she revealed into skin. And Into now, coochie. Wouldn't it, weren't you just talking about this? Yes, I was. Yeah. Mounds are mounds. It's our bodies. We already hurt ourselves enough getting into drag. Yes. Are any of us comfortable right now? No. Well, based on how we look, you might be, Alexis, but we're not. 
And I'm cinched. No, you look gorgeous. And I clipped her. when we tuck and our testicles go up inside of us, there's a little mound. Yes, could we see oh, no, her I testicles? Oh no, I have no problem with it. No, I know, but I'm saying, like, could we body. see her testicles? Could we see the exact shape of them? Yeah. Yeah, but they were tucked into they the were socket that we all have. That we all have. Now, if you didn't know, and there is a socket for the the mm -hmm. the, the, the huevos. Yeah. I also have the pop socket. It's genitalia. People yeah. have. People be having genitalia. Welcome to Pride. Well, that's one of the things. No genitalia, Pride. <laughs> that's yeah, that's pride. one of the things that I I think we're all kind of loosening up about drag in general because there used to be a very perfection hiding your your otherness, hiding your maleness, hiding anything that didn't make you look just like a woman. You know, mm. like. And I like now that there's a little more androgyny. There's a little more real person in it because mm -hmm. even yeah. even carmen's tight ass tuck we could still see it like coming out mm -hmm. the back mm -hmm. i was like what do you i like that we're not gonna gatekeep the body we uh, especially but we will gaslight no we will gaslight those testicles because we gotta make them drop back down that's actually how okay that's so little, if you ever the, yeah if you ever see a drag queen who's like i can't get them out just gaslight them they'll fall it'll right soften out. it up and then boom mm -hmm. they'll drop up next, we had Poopy Poison giving us the Ooh. Leopard Print Veneno. Yeah, she was doing kind of a curvier uh, later later in her life, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, like when she was coming on the television show, yeah, right? Yeah, just coming back. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was really funny. She yeah. presented it It's kind of a direct comedy. reference to what she would wear on the show. Yeah, yeah. And I, they, there was no censoring of nipples or anything. I loved no. it. Yeah. We don't need to do that. Don't no. know. No, no, no. We know what a breastplate looks like. Well, now we do. I bet a lot of people didn't before because mm -mm. they all thought it was blurry. And then you go to a drag brunch and it's normalized. It's normalized because you know what you need? You need chicken, waffles, nipple. Areola. Areola. Boots. To go. Up next, we had Drag Volcano oh. uh, kind of doing a really cool shrine tribute to Which La Which is like her full life story. She explained that as it went yes. down, it followed her life in pictures. Mm. That's, I love, so I actually I really liked this, yeah, this tape. Because cool. it wasn't a direct reference to anything she wore. It was like an interpretation, which mm -hmm. I love. You don't yeah. have to play by, you yes, know, I thought this was rules. so brilliant. And what a beautiful tribute. That's a true, like, she took time to pick out certain moments in her life and, and to put that on a beautiful costume, I absolutely divine, adore it. Divine. And to have, like, she started with the coat that was, like, the specific color and the carnation. And everything meant something. Yeah, yeah. it's just... I thought it was great. Now, okay, can we can we get into the... The, the platforms? Yeah. Can we get into just, like, her overall... So it was... It, it, the comment was made, like, come down. You stood on platforms. You were above everyone during the song and then even on the runway. Like, you're just too high. Like, can you come on down? I thought it was impressive that she did all that choreo in those... I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. But she was saying like, okay, so I'm supposed to show my versatility, but no one else is. They're not telling anyone else to put on. Go ahead. I loved that. No, please. I loved this. Oh, okay. I thought it was really cool. Opposite day. You hated that? Opposite. I didn't hate it, but what I interpreted it as, because I read, so we, maybe we're reading different captions. Was your closed captioning in English? Yeah. English. Okay. So see, mine was in French. Okay. What, what? And I don't speak French. So I, I really just had to do context clues. Can you do it in English? English oh. is the one that starts with E. Oh, okay. You know what? That's on me. That's on me. Because F is so close. F is so close. But it's just one more line. Them saying like, can you do something different with your look? Like you have this, I'm the tall stilts mm -hmm. girl all mm -hmm. the time. And when I stop to think about it. And she's like, but I need to show versatility, but no one else does. Think about every look she's done on the show. It's the second episode. Okay, but she's done four looks. We've seen four looks from her. When did they tell her the note about the shoes? But she's shown the same thing every all four times. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that it's not just the shoe. But they've been There's different. It's like always. I, I no, but like my it. thing you is You saw like, it as tone it down. No, no, no. Her look has always been the same, though. She's always had some sort of headpiece on. She's always had, like, the long sleeve jumper kind of bodysuit into the stilts. Like, every look she's ever had on has looked exactly the same. So okay. I think that was, to me, that's where I was like, well, I kind of see what they're saying. That's a good point. Uh, for me, when I when I saw that, when I saw her say that, like, yes, I can wear heels, but notice that she's not telling everyone else versatility. For me, I'm thinking, it's only the second episode. She just got the note. What is she... Like How they, is she going to apply that to the next one? She, she she's also 
this this comes up every season for me. It's like Bianca wore the same exact silhouette every single time. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is her signature drag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course she can show versatility, but it's only the second episode. When They've do you seen think... four looks, girl. You've seen four looks, and all looks look exactly the same except for the color. I think that does kind of get to you, especially sure. especially when it's so big, because it's it's but impossible the, to ignore. So the person like, oh. who made the comment was Paca. Like Paca was the guest. She's judge been watching. This time. She's been watching. She's been watching from the back. Okay. Yeah. From the outside. Yeah, that's she, the thing. She I, has her own. Paca was Paca was the only one who said that. Oh, that we saw. So, that was okay. <laughs> she so she wrote everyone an email before she got there. She said, "Hey, I've okay. been watching." Maybe this is wrong, but I'm my always my first instinct is to always say, "Don't tell a drag entertainer how to change True. their signature drag." I mean, yeah, they're all the same, but, but the judges always do that. They did that with Crystal. They told Crystal to change her makeup because they did not like how overstated oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, Crystal and, method. Yeah, and I get it. And of course, of course, yes. But I'm just saying. Yeah, four looks, but only two episodes, and she only got the note once. Mm -hmm. she, she technically didn't get a chance after being given the note. Too tall. She and you never she know. She wasn't we sent home because of that note. She wasn't sent home because of that note. Yeah. They were giving her the note, and she just happened to go home on this episode. No, I she just, wasn't I just like that, that she kind of took a... I, I like that she stood up for herself and said, Yeah, okay, of course I can, I can wear heels, but you can I ask these other to people to wear these platforms, too? Why? Why would you say that? I don't. I just don't see a reason for that. What what well, she was saying well, for was instance, like, Carmen's you wore platforms the same thing. both. So okay, let's take it like they only saw one episode. So she saw her in the performance where she was wearing these giant platforms and she was towering above everyone, and then she saw the runway where she was wearing these giant platforms and she was towering over everybody. Even just seeing two times in a row, I think it makes sense to be like, hey, can you like come down to us at least for one of them? I get why too. I just thought it was interesting. I just thought I won. Oh, I yeah, won. Oh, anything. it wasn't about the shoes. It wasn't it was about, about the, the shoes. Winning. It, it was, was about, about winning. winning. I won. I get what you're saying. All I'm I saying won. is I like that she stood up for herself because that is her signature. Ugh. That is the style of drag that they do in the Canary Islands. She absolutely should stand up for herself. I'm not saying she shouldn't, but I'm saying that there's a lot of valid reason for that now. But it also seems kind of arbitrary. It's just shoes. No, so it doesn't even it's matter. Not, but it's <gasps> so not. it doesn't matter. But it's not just shoes, girl, because it completely changes how you look. If you walk in on stilts every day, people are going to notice that. It's not just shoes. Uh, I won, and she's trying to fight I, me. I, I'm not, it's I not, won. It's, it's about, not about winning. winning and losing. Well, you would say that because you've already lost. Well. Well. Let us know what you no, think no, in no. the comments. <laughs> no, no, I no, no, no. <laughs> it's not well. It's... <laughs> Please don't let us know in the comments. Please, I don't want to hear Before I we started filming, said... Alexis hit Darby with one of the lights. <laughs> and that's that's something you can oh, totally uh, now do. Oh, I did. Now I did do that. So technically, we are even. <laughs> yeah. I just like it's when not people about stand up it's for about themselves. It's about Because I'm always... I'm always into the underdog, and I thought that was like... And you know what? And she an stood. An underdog moment. Tall. I love that Paco was like, I just want to put her in the corner of the living room, because she looked like a beautiful piece <laughs> yeah. of like, yeah, yeah, decoration. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, you the did, next topic... You won. Are you happy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did you win? I feel yeah, so what good. did you win? I can sit taller. Go ahead, rise, my sweetie. Come down. We've <gasps> seen you be tall too much. Come down win. from there. See, and that's a valid <laughs> note. <laughs> I'll take that note. See, <laughs> does it feel good to be big? <laughs> it did for a little bit. I'll be yes. honest. It did. That's <laughs> what she's feeling. Oh shit! I was still right. <laughs> You know what? A good friend once told me, do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? Do not use Being my right therapist now. words against me. <laughs> I've been telling people that on my cameos. I'm like, Darby and I exchange therapy tools because she pays a therapist. That's nice, though. Do you want to be I, right or do you, you want to be, be happy? happy? Yeah. I, Being right makes me happy. Because I, right, you can't do both though, oh. all the time. Because like, if, okay, like if you're, so when I drive, I get a lot of road rage. I go, oh, like that. But like, is it important that I was right that they shouldn't have cut me off? Or is it important that they didn't use their blinker, but I know that they should have used their blinker? Or should I just be happy? Does it matter? Like, let me let that go. That's, oh. I want the control, but I'd rather be happy. Except in this situation, I did want to be right. And I was, and now I'm happy. <laughs> I'm kidding, Alexis. Mm, I know, no, and that's the thing is that because we love each other, we can have this well, discourse. 
No. Is IMHO the show just like a place where you practice your therapy tools? I think so. I, you're I didn't trying say it out. I here. practice them well. Does your therapist <laughs> go, the next time you film, try this out? <laughs> yeah. She just watches the episodes and then she gives me notes. No, the truth is, I don't like to be wrong either. That must be tough for you. Yeah. Do you like hearing, no, you're right, you're right? Do you like hearing that? Not stuff like that. that. That sounds like. It sounds like I'm being an asshole whenever yeah. I hear someone say, oh. Oh, no, no, no. Right. I wasn't being an asshole just now. I did. I was right. <laughs> Up next, we had Inthi. Inthi was Ooh, giving us a, a reveal. holy reveal. Yes. She took the like holy yes. church girl into the big old titties. She looked great. Stunning. Yeah. Own hair. No, I loved her that. own hair. Loved it. Laid down. And swirled. she was. What was it? Most reminded her most of her? Or yeah, what, yeah, yeah. What she? What was the question? She said, "Paga, which one of these looks like the real Christina?" And she said, she the one in the Indy. white." Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. And Indy, then also Indy, Carmen, Indy. the face is the exact Carmen, same. Carmen, the, the face, but like, yeah, Indy. which oh, okay, Indy. She's that's great. what's she's so stunning. compelling about Veneno and uh, a lot of these girls on the runway is she's just like it's like wild abandon, just like feeling every ounce of your fierceness down the runway. It was yeah. so fun to watch. Up next, we had Killer Queen. Killer Queen had these wings. Oh, yeah. Going full she sail said ahead. That she was Veneno, like the angel looking over trans people, protecting trans I people. I like that. I loved that. I like that a lot. Yeah. And she looked great. The hair, the makeup. The hair was right. I think Killer Queen has a beautiful face. I don't think we've really gotten to see how great she is at makeup yet. Also, I think or he's cute noticed. after him. Oh, he's very cute. You're right. I you think so, too. I think Killer and Inti are, like, the cutest out of drag. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. my cuties. Mm -hmm. I kind of have a little thing for Arancha, too. So Arancha's kind of like goofy. Arancha, yeah. Arancha's cute. Arancha's Arancha's, cute. Arancha is someone I could see you going to. Mm -hmm. And being like, hey, you're funny. You're hey, you're cute. funny. You want to be cute and funny? Can I buy you a drink? Where to get you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Up next, we had Dovima Nurmi. Giving you the red Christina. I actually liked this. Yeah, this was yeah, hot. Yeah, that's great. This was hot. Up next, we had Arancha Castilla Mancha. She had on the Chorofsky crystal. Also giving early vest. Christina. Mm -hmm. But the judges were like, and I've only seen one episode, so I didn't fully know what the reference was, but they also didn't seem to know either. Mm -hmm. We did see a couple people give their own interpretation, interpretations. We did see people give their own interpretation of it, but Arancha's required a long explanation. Yeah, I think she was going for the spirit of just celebrating your body and being naked. And as someone who does body looks all the time, mm -hmm. and I'm always naked. You don't know because you've never been in one of my bingos. I have the balls in the cage and then I have the other balls. You know what I mean? So as someone who does that a lot, I, I can appreciate the idea. I just don't know if it came across. Once she said it, I enjoyed the look much more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's... The post explanation. Yeah. That but what the judges record. said, yeah. Yeah. We gotta <laughs> what see the judges it. What the judges said. We gotta, judges see, it. We gotta, see, it we gotta see it on stage. We gotta see it on stage. Yeah. Jugacio giving their interpretation of La Veneno. I loved it. It was a really cool look. I thought that was a brilliant interpretation. And it's... Yes, I agree with you. And it's clear that Jugacio doesn't do the same thing as all you know doesn't always yeah it's like always art it's always a statement but this is just kind of the filter through it i i loved it mm -hmm. i loved it that headpiece so cool cool the lightning yeah. the comic book it made veneno la veneno come off as like a superhero that was yeah cool. which which they said that what, that's what christina was, was to them I, I i love that i thought yeah. it was brilliant and finally we have oh Carmen Farala. Oh, I just got goosebumps when you said it. Wow. 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 Bodies. And that was another right. interpretation. Reveal. It was it was her own interpretation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gorge. The makeup was right. The makeup. The, the hair face, was right. The even face, the facial the body, expressions, the... like she was kind of she was doing lips and like just kind Study. of fierceness. And yeah, I did like when she said, like, I even made my jaw a little sharper like hers. I don't think a lot of people who just watch these shows who don't have a lot of experience with drag know, like, that's skill. Yeah. To yeah. change the shape of your face in in a s subtle way that their best friend sees you and goes, 
you're them. Like that mm -hmm. is. It's commitment too. To have her arm up while the judges that were criticizing her. Saying. And she's like, I'm not putting it down. As long as you can see me. I am saying. Okay, that I'll, was so good. If it's up, then it's I'm going to keep mine up for a little bit and we'll mm, see. For the how judges. Long. Yeah. Paka says, you can put it down. No, it's it's beautiful. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> and that was our runway. That was our. That was I think great. this was a great in. runway. Great choice. Yes. I loved it. Because the Javier's, like, that was our introduction to them, was they created and wrote La Veneno. So to be able to bring that into a runway this early was really fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So happy to see it. Let's see, how's your arm feeling? No, it's awful. I hate that. <laughs> that was the what? And my arm that was like That was like two hours. Yeah, that was, that, yeah, I didn't hold so it crazy. for a long time. We cut a lot of that. Yeah, that was all Patreon only. You didn't yeah, see it. Yeah, join um, our Patreon. Our it's top fine. two looks from the runway, and Paca pointed it out, Carmen and Inti. But Agreed. Inti got into a little trouble because her performance, they said, was a little... So it was, yeah. there was a clear winner in the top looks because they enjoyed Carmen's performance as well. So congratulations, Carmen. So well, well deserved. deserved. Well, mm -hmm. Oh, I took the words right out. Alexis. Yeah. I just want to take a moment and say. Yeah. I won. Oh, no, wait. Oh, oh, oh no. Another top about... was poopy. Oh yeah, they oh, loved Poopy. Poopy was on top. Yeah, Poopy was funny. I don't know if I saw I didn't, that coming. I didn't either. But hey, different. It was. It's a different culture. I didn't fully understand <laughs> yes. it because I eat McDonald's. You. That's on me. You, oh, just, you I barely been a McDonald's. I, went to I do think. Well, I went to Barcelona. So something just that I don't that. talk about a lot is that I did go to Barcelona and I saw a lot of comedy. Mm -hmm. So I understand it. Like I, I can see it. But does now it you speak in Barcelona? I see a piece of cheese trapped in a sandwich. Amen, amen. I'll be back. Okay, they're begging. <laughs> <laughs> they keep emailing me and I'm like, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not the receptionist. I'm so not the please, travel agent. Please. It's not 1994. There is a really touching moment in Untucked where Inti is talking about dysphoria and she kind of has a little bit of yeah. a, a meltdown. Yeah. I thought that's so good to be able to have that conversation on television. Mm -hmm. People get to see it. And then she said the thing about you know, my transness is independent on hormones, a piece of paper from a therapist. I just love that moment. Yeah. You get to decide how you want to identify. Not some other person on Twitter gatekeeping what non-binary means, but you get to decide. I hope there there are kids that will get to see this and say, mm -hmm. I'm not alone, there's yes. there's more out there than, that can and be. And that I get to decide how I want to identify. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much, Inti, for being so open to share that part of yourself. It's really meaningful. You know what? I am a butch lady twink, and I like to drink beer. Snap. Ooh. Oh my that goodness. That was a lot. This, you're, no, you're so brave. <laughs> oh. Wow, that was great. <laughs> Will you say it right into the camera? I am a butch lady twink, and I like to drink beer. Snap. Thank Snap. you. Snap. Wow. Good. Reflect on that. Think about that during Pride. How do you identify? I'm a monotone twas, and I drink... <gasps> Anything. <laughs> a twig. I'm a twink who used to be. Oh, that's good. I'm that's so that lovely. I am a great bag of Skittles. <laughs> Welcome to Pride. <laughs> It was so, also very touching to see that other girls kind of come to NT and say, hey, you're okay, you're brave, we love you. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it was, mm -hmm. that was nice. Our bottom, unfortunately, super, super sad, Arancha mm -hmm. and... and... Drag Vulcano. Yes, which... Mm -hmm. uh, which is the shock. Kind of. I mean, when you think back on the... Shut up. <laughs> when you think back on the look, that was... I don't know. Yeah. Seeing her look, her bottom look next to Arancha, it was a little shocking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the notes I understood... So and you were right about it. And so. I was right about the Drag shoe. Drag is never gonna watch this show. She's gonna be like, "This that entire argument was insane." <laughs> um, so fun. I thought they both did a great job. Mm -hmm. I thought they both did a great job. And I will say, to your point, I think probably the shoes, much like gowns, oh, she's coming around. Probably mm -hmm. the shoes hindered her perform because Volcano was staying kind of in one place and Arancha was really going all over the stage, really getting into it, ripping off pieces, feeling body. Mm -hmm. And there really wasn't much for Volcano to rip off other than pictures of Christina. And Which that would have been bad. <laughs> yeah. That would have been that would have been terrible. That would have been a, the opposite way of You know what I just thought? Hmm. <laughs> Last episode mm -hmm. I did say that I hope 
Volcano has those kinds of shoes for every look she wears. I did say that I wanted that. I was kind of excited for that too, because that someone said, was it you who said that's I think the I dragon just Canary to Islands? I defeat you. Like, I think. <laughs> no, because I think. I agree with you. No, because when you watch this back, you're going to see that we weren't actually arguing. You were arguing at me, but I was saying your point is valid. I just feel another. I feel different. I was seeing it a different you're way. You're wrong. You have to fight her at some point. Yeah. Well, Arancha won. Which, yes. well done. Yes. Well deserved. We love Arancha. Right. We are biased. Right. Um, but we also I, but love that her. was fun to watch. She no. Was, she was a great lip syncer. It was great. That yeah. was giving the spirit of what she was trying to do with her runway. Yes. The, yes. the performance she gave, that it that clipped. Yeah. You yeah. have to watch the rest of Love. And I know it's... Oh, I will. Oh, I will. No, I will. Tears, I will. tears yeah. down the face. Yeah. I'm not excited down for that face. part. But, like, I'm ready to break that. Like, I haven't cried yet. Ever. Mm. Oh, um, girl. Episode 2 will get you. No, no, no. In general, in life, I've never cried. Oh. Okay. Our next unboxing <gasps> video will be about that. Okay. <laughs> when you see someone sad, do you feel sadness? Only if it's, like... I feel concerned. Um, my mom. Or, like, someone who it looks like It starts from the chest. Mom. Huh. And I'm like, oh. I need to nurse this person. Here. You're sad. Okay. When you see someone sad, what goes on in your head, in your heart? A giggle. Bye, Volcano. We'll miss you. Yes. Yeah. Sorry about the, the argument about your shoes. <laughs> I'm going to keep it in. <laughs> you should. No, no, no. That you should. Nuts. All 15 minutes that. Of was that. Nuts. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> this is an incredible drag race franchise. I, I just yes. want to say. Yes. For a season one, they are top notch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, top. Opening up the McDonald's in Spain, IDK. Opening up a drag race in Spain, I can get behind. Yeah, I can support that. Mm -hmm. Although I will say, when I was in Barcelona, if I had been offered a McFlurry, or as they say it, McFlurry, I would have definitely said CCCC. CCCC takes me home. You know what? I do like a McFlurry, a little M&M one. M&M. No, Oreo, you're wrong again. Okay. I'll be yes. wrong about no, this. No, no, I'll let's be wrong about this. Let's debate hard. Oreo versus M&M. It gets cold and the M&Ms get hard. I like that though. You like to suck up hard little nuggets through a straw. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I don't drink McFlurries through a straw. I do spoon. Do we need to do another? I'm fighting you! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Drag Race España. What an incredible episode, what an incredible season. Yes. Yeah. We are obsessed with this franchise. We yes. will be in Barcelona very yes. soon. Probably. Yes. yes, and if you enjoyed this video, please share, like, thumbs it up, and send it over to a friend. It helps out our channel. You can also follow us on our social medias. Oh, yeah in the description. Absolutely, and if you'd like to see more of us, join us over on Patreon, where we have exclusive content, a podcast, and much, much more. Do you want to say cameos? Oh my God, thank you so much. We're also on Cameo, individually, so if you'd like to hear from me or Chan, you can buy that. And also I'm there. Well, too. you are on it, yeah. And then if you would like one from all three of us, we call those shamios. <gasps> Go to imhotheshow.com and you can follow the directions to order yourself one. All right. Well, we will see you next week. Adios. Adios. Where? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. That's Banana. the back. I think it's like... Con. Oh, coño. Coño. What does that mean? Coño. Like idiot. Escuche me. Escuche me. Escuche me. I don't want you to actually hate okay, me. Okay, no, no, no. Let's talk this through. I'm sorry, Chin. Can I trade seats with you? Oh. Ah! Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. I just want to say a couple. I just want to say a couple. You're warm. You're very warm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm always joking. Okay. I know. Now I did get kind of weirdly heated about it and I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I don't know why, but I do know that I was right. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I was joking so much. When hey. I'm right, I just need to be right. I know. I know. And you're right all the time. Right wing. Oh! I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like states' rights, smaller federal government, Wait, is lower right taxes. You like states' rights as a right wing person? Yes. 1800s? Yes, that's their thing. They like states' rights. They like, uh, oh, and I, I hate abortion.
Except when, when the woman decides that they need it because it is a woman's body. But other than that, hate it. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight either. And you can, I, no, I you can be right. Up. Let's clear this you up. You are right. No, don't say it like that. We've already talked about that. You have to say, the more I think about it, I agree with every point you made. You have to say it like that. Look at me. It's... No, the important thing is we are best friends. I didn't say anything. I'm just observing. <laughs> the important thing is we are best friends. We were before this and, started. And co-workers. And it's okay if we don't COVID agree. COVID changed us all. I did. And it's okay if we don't agree. But that's the thing is if we do love each other, we don't want the other person going out into the world speaking crazy shit. I was trying to stop you from saying that you liked her shit. All I said was I, I saw her, I liked, I saw her point of view. And I liked that she stood up for herself. And all I said was, you were wrong. You're wrong for liking that she stood up for herself? Yes, because no one should stand up for themselves. So I'm also very communist. So I'm, I'm a Republican, I'm a right wing, and I'm a communist. Well, let me ask but you But that this. works out great because I'm a communist. Now you want to be happy or you want to be- No! <laughs>